Hey, Dana here, and welcome to my vlog. And this is I Spy a Stang, and I have. I've sp spied a, uh, let's see if we get some light here. There we go. And I have spied a uh, 74 Mustang II. And I just happened to have taken my driver's exam back in 76 in the same in the same type of vehicle this one's an automatic and I took it in a standard it just so happens that this gentleman you are John Schuyler John Schuyler and he is looking to sell his baby you've had it how many years now uh, we got it in 89 89 89 or 88 one of the two and it, it came from uh, originally from uh, Alabama it was a repossessed car south 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 car south uh, yeah. South car, and here's the phone, phone number if you're looking for a collector's item. He's got the Krager. These are uh, Krager rims. Yep. Leather, leather interior. No, you know, plastic. Pla oh, plastic. Uh, yeah. The original. Let's see. Yeah. There we go. And uh, there we go. The original. Yeah. The the uh, oak grain, yep. oak grain. Uh, oh man, this brings back memories. And then the uh, she's looking, looking really good. Yeah. Now the uh, motor, what's 302. the three hundred two? Okay, yeah. so you've got a V eight. It's got a V eight in it. Anything been uh, modified? Uh, the rear end's been modified. Is uh, not the original one. That's got an eight inch with limited slip. Ah, okay. And. The first thing we did is just uh, oh, she did. core support to get enough room to put the radiator in because that's why they didn't put a V8 in these. They didn't have enough room for them. Oh, okay. No okay. Oh, yeah. Very little rust. Okay. I got the standard amount in the, in the fender wells, but yeah. it can be touched up. And then the front, you said? Fiberglass. Fiberglass. Yep. Just the fenders, no hood. Couldn't find one. Couldn't find one. Well, we could, but the price was not. Definitely. Uh, means at all. It was an air-conditioned car. We have all the parts for the air conditioning, except whatever pump you want to put on it. But everything that goes inside the car, we have. Can we get the, can we get the hood real quick? Sure. That would be great. No, the paint is the paint paint original. Did no. you no? The original paint was was uh, orange. Oh, she was an orange. Yeah. Orange G. Uh, was she considered a GT or? No, no, it was just a uh, four cylinder. Oh, we had the four and then put the eight in it. Yeah. Oh wow, that's what I wanted to do to my <laughs> '97, but uh, of course you got to deal with harnesses. Yeah. Okay. So there you go, folks. He's got a. You got to get the right battery, and it's been in storage for eight years. Oh, you just now brought it out. Okay. Yeah, we just got it out, and I had to throw a battery in it. Because I just came uh, from my buddy's place in uh, South Dansville, up on the hill. I, I fly a drone. Oh, okay. I'm a, I'm a drone. Uh, uh, I'm licensed, licensed to fly a drone. So I said I'm going to get up there as the changing of the colors. Right. And uh, so I took it up there. And uh, he told me the other day, he says, Dana, there's a uh, there's an older Mustang up on the up on the hill as I go by. You might want to go take a look. And I said, okay, when I come up, I'll drop by and see what we got. This uh, would the 302 come out of? Uh, it was out of a Mach one. Oh, it was. Yeah, we took it out of a Mach one. It was just a 302 two barrel was all. It was nothing. We put out uh, cam lifters. So All she the headers was, on it and everything. So um, how Four many barrels? How many thing horses, horse wise? I I don't know. I wouldn't even try to. Probably, you know, might have three twenty, three thirty. Okay. Okay. If you're lucky, I I don't know. I know that, you know, from a dead stop, she'll, you know, she'll, light them right up. <laughs> so, you know. So um, you um, did the uh, did the heads, heads up, and then uh, um, the headers. Yeah, yeah, we put headers on it. Yep. Okay, so the motor, um, would you consider the motor rebuilt then? Yeah, the motor's been rebuilt. It's been in here for, um, since 70, not, 
seventy eighty nine. Okay. And uh, my my oldest son got it, and it was it was red candy apple red. Okay. And uh, then he went underneath the tree limb with it, and oh, I'm no. coming down. Oh. You know where the dip is? Yeah, yeah. That, that tree in that lawn. Yeah. The deer ran across the road, oh. and he went one way, and the deer, deer turned around, to come yeah. back, and he went the other way, and he said, if I didn't go in the yard, I would have hit him. Oh boy! Man. Just, oh, I'm the same. It, it just <laughs> both front fenders and. Oh. Yeah, roof damage on it, not bad. Okay. I had to put a windshield in it. Oh, okay. Okay. I need to, need to trim. The molding, I don't have the molding for it. That was pretty bad shape. So. I see. Let me put the... So the, um, it's got a, does that, it's got a different rear end or just uh different... Yeah, it's, it's a Ford rear end. It's a 8 inch. Came out of a must, uh, newer Mustang, or older Mustang. Older Mustang, okay. Yeah. Okay, so the, so the uh, rear axle has been... Swapped out to a posi because you went to the V8. There you yeah, go. Okay. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. And that's what I was planning to do with that one because I took the motor out and stuck it in my wife's uh, 90, 94. And then uh, the frame rusted out on it. So I took it back and I put okay. it back in because what I was going to do is took the 6 out and I, I got a I got a 4.6 I was going to put in it. I just didn't get around to doing it in the time frame that the body <laughs> rusted, rusted out in hers, so right. I decided I'd go ahead and uh, go ahead and put it back in. So we were lucky we find that the grill was pretty good shape. We needed a couple pieces, and we found everything. And okay, that's all from original. It's now no aftermarket parts. Aftermarket parts, parts on this. Very yeah. nice. It was nice. Awesome. All right. Awesome. Um, how much you? Three grand. Three grand? Okay. Yep. That'll, that'll help uh, right off the right These off the These bat. stripes are the, the right width. Okay. The, the right everything for Shelby stripes. Okay, so everything was the... Everything uh, was done. Set. When we painted it, uh, one of my friends uh, has got a lot of Mustangs, and he gave us the dimensions. Oh, sweet. It's supposed to be overall, and the beginning of the hood, the end of the hood, the beginning of the top, the end of the top. Green. Everything was a little different. So. I got you. Very nice. All right. Very good. And everything. Uh, door. Uh, door panel. You're missing the door panel missing on door the driver's panel. side. Okay. It was kind of rough, and we tried to fix it, and we couldn't do anything. Well, mm -hmm. I still got part of it. Okay. But the seats are all. Seat, seats look in real good shape. Yeah, they're, they're not bad at all. Not bad. And, uh, Oh, well, hinges are in good shape. There is. And there you go. Roof liner is in good shape. Dash is in good shape. And no cracks in the dash. It's sometimes unusual. <laughs> well, when we saw the car and everything, that four cylinder was on it. would start up good. Okay. Here. Right. It was like automatic. Yeah. The time my son, my oldest son, got down the corner and took off, it'd be uh, the. Lifters would pump oh, up so hard yeah. that it would float the valves. Then he'd have to sit there, and oh. once he got warmed up, it was fine. Right, right, right. And I told him, "Well, I guess we better change oil." Then it's oh, pumping them up that bad. Man, go to a thinner, yeah, thinner oil. There we go. All right, very nice. Well, it was nice meeting you. I nice will, meeting you. I we'll get this up and uh, just look under. Uh, I spy a stang. Okay. And we will uh, see if uh, we have some. Viewers that are, would like to like to make this their make this their new home. Yeah, I got a few extra parts. We got a few extra tail lights and stuff, and the lenses, and you know, uh, I don't know what all we got, but we do have the uh, condenser. Okay. We have uh, all the piping and everything. We don't have a compressor, mm -hmm. but we got everything that goes with the thing for air conditioning in it. What size carb is on it? You know. Uh, six hundred. A uh, six hundred. Okay. Yep. 600 holly. Oh, yeah. That was the big thing back then. Yep. Yeah, it was. That was the big Edelbrock 600. You got to have one. <laughs> oh, very good. Awesome. Well, we'll clear this out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and definitely share. And if you're interested in a 74, here she is. Yeah, like I said, you have to quit looking underneath because. 
as you can see, frame wise, like you said, it came, it came up from uh, Alabama, right? Yep. You say Alabama. Yep. As you can see, the the floor pan is in really, really good shape, and because uh, this would technically tell you a unibody when they when they did it. He's got uh, very nice. Okay, and then again, the only only rust is in the outside of the fender walls. Yeah, they were they were started a little bit.